you recognize this screen? Of course you do. It's PDM. If you haven't been using RDI, you've been using PDM your entire career to traverse across different members and different libraries on IBM I. On this screen right here, I take option three, work with members, and I can type in a library, let's say RDI user, say all, and there's my list of members in that library. I can page up and down as you can see here. Press F12, press F12 again, option two, work with objects, and here I can type in, for example, devlib, and I can see my, my objects in devlib, or I can do option, uh, members again, and I can say devlib over here, and you say all members that begin with FIX, and I get my subset of this over here. One of the challenges that users, or new users, I should say, of RDI, or just trying to get people to onboard them onto RDI, is the lack of a PDM-like screen. Well, with this latest enhancement, 9.6.0.2, that's the latest version, the update just came out, you can now have the same function in RDI. Let's go through it and see how this all works. Here is my RSE, my Remote System Explorer, and you can see here I have a list of connections. This particular one, which is named on RAM to debugging, is connected. I know that I see that green arrow there. And here I have my list of filters. I'm going to select this filter called Session Source. I'll click on it. And instead of expanding it over here, I'm going to come to the top right over here and open up this brand new perspective, which is called the PDM perspective. Let's see how this works. So again, I have Session Source highlighted over here. I'll click on PDM, and now I'm brought into this brand new PDM perspective. You can see that the named filter was carried over session source, and I have an object table populated with all of the members that qualify for that filter. Now, an object table is not new. This has been an RDI. What's new here, however, is this piece over here, which is the filter control that, that gives me the same functionality that the PDM screen did in the green screen. So this is very nice. So just for starters, I can of course double click on any member here and that will open it just like that. Open it for edit. I can also right click over here and I can say browse with LPEX, that's also fine. I can also now use PDM options in this new left column over here. So I have a uh, I can, hear, I can put a five over here that says source one, and I can also put a five over here for looper and just hit enter, and that will now download those. And because I used option five, they're now in browse mode where these first two were in edit mode, as you can see over here. These are in edit mode over here. So here's looper. What I find really interesting though is they added yet another new feature in 9602. If I come to source, check this out toggle between edit and browse mode. So right now I'm in browse mode for this member. Toggle between edit and browse, click on that. And switching, setting editor to, to, edit, to edit mode, I'm now in edit mode. I don't have to get out of the member, go back in. I can simply toggle back and forth. Of course, if I had made changes and I want to go back to browse mode, it will tell me that I want, it will ask me if I want to ch uh, save my changes first. But enough about that, let's go back to this screen over here. On any line over here, I can simply right click as well, just like this, and go to PDM options, and I can see all the available options that are available to that member over here. And I can type them in over here, those options, or just I can select them right from that menu over here. More interestingly, just like the PDM screen, is this mode over here. Right now, I'm in the uh, in option three from that menu, which is member, but I can click on that, and drop down appears, and I have library, object, and member, just like PDM, one, two, and three. If I say I want to show members in library devlib that all begin with FIX, I can say apply that filter. Now here are the same fixed programs that I saw earlier. If I like this filter, I can come here and just type it, I can give it a new name. I can say my new fix filter. And I can say save over here. And if I happen to go back to RSE over here, 
you will notice that immediately it added the filter on this side over here as well. So it's a very easy way to navigate back and forth. I can tell you that this new PDM perspective is going to be a real time saver and more importantly, it's going to eliminate, in my opinion, many of the barriers that have been put in place to using RDI. This, this section over here, this filter control section over here is phenomenal and it really gives me a PDM experience and there's absolutely no reason why you should not be using this to quickly get onto RDI. And even if you're an experienced RDI user, I, I've uh, been, been using this now for the last day and I can tell you that I'm, I've been finding it quite helpful. So there you go. I can change my, my library over here, encrypt for example, fix, I can say ENC with an asterisk apply, load that. I can bring up a named filter and it will bring up all the existing filters that are defined in that in that connection. There's my fix filter again, load that filter and there they are again. So the new PDM perspective, check it out. I think you're really going to enjoy using it. Again, IBM is listening. This was a, a great enhancement and I'm looking forward to see you in our next video. Take care. Enjoy PDM Perspective. Bye.